everyone, my name is Decade Wisdom, and for those of you who can't read on PS3, my name is Delayed Wisdom. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a TeamSpeak 3 server with a custom IP because that is cool and people do need to start doing that. Now, I don't know why my internet's all the way over there. So uh, let's start by um, downloading TeamSpeak 3. So go to TeamSpeak.com. Then go to Products, TeamSpeak 3, where's the download button, oh, downloads, TeamSpeak 3, <laughs> downloads TeamSpeak 3, Windows, you have Mac, whatever, I have Windows, and mine is 64-bit, and I need the client, and the server, so I have to do all this stuff, I don't even know why I did all that stuff, oh, wait, no, client guide, whatever. Well, yeah, I don't even have to. That's how I assume. Your download will start in a few seconds, period. If your download does not start, comma, please click here, colon. Alright, so now that that's downloading, go back, go back, download server. I need to download this server because the server is cool. Alright, and uh, it's going to download a folder in which has stuff in it. So now, like in my other tutorial of Minecraft, how to make a server 1.7.10, we used noip.com because they're awesome. So, uh, make an account, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to sign in right now. Now, what you're going to do is go to, where is it, where is it, I think, your no IP, I think, your no IP, I think, host slash redirects, I think, yep, remove that one, I don't even want that one anymore, alright, anyway, click download client, download it. I already have it downloaded. Download and install it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go back because we need to add a host of the host name. I'm gonna delete my IP address right there. So, host name, blah, 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 blah. No, let's not do blah, 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 blah. Let's use... Let's use... Let's use... Let's use... Let's use... No, I'll just use one of my other ones because I already... Alright, so here's the one that I'm going to use. It's kdnation.ddns.net The IP will actually be different. What you need to do is go to whatsmyip.org and that will be blocked. Make sure people don't... Don't tell people that because it's they can hack you and stuff. So now that you have that. Now we need to port forward, so now go to run, I think? Nope, that's not use run. Command prompt admin. If you have Windows 7, you can do, um, you can search CMD and I'm pretty sure it'll pop up. So now let's do IP config, and you're gonna find your IP4 address, which in my case, it depends on which router you have. I have Linksys so 192.168.1.116 but the default gateway we have to do that oops that's YouTube 192.168.1.1 I'm pretty sure is other people's and mostly people your username and password will differ my password is admin sometimes you don't even have a password or a username sometimes it's just Username admin, no password. In my case, it's just admin as the password. Now let's log in. Now we're going to go to applications and gaming. Single port forward or whatever, because it's probably not going to look like this. I do three different applications with three different ports. Because if you don't, you probably won't be able to log in. In this case, I have 9987 
external port and internal internal port. Ten zero eleven three zero zero three three. Protocol TCP and UDP both to the IP address. Go to your IP four address like we showed earlier. Go right here. In my case. 192.168.1.116 there you go oh and um if your router or something ever gets or your modem or whatever ever gets like unplugged that IP resets so if your team speaker whatever it doesn't work after a while it's because it uh, like shut off or something or the thingy reset so now that that's done save it and everything now we need to so now that you downloaded that thing this will I didn't even drag the thingies over fail that's history not downloads go to your downloads I'm sure you already dragged this stuff over drag the client and the server part thing wow that was my fourth one open that extract it to your desktop you probably have WinRAR but I don't know why mine doesn't use WinRAR, it's weird. And it will give you a folder. You can delete this if you want. But it will say TeamSpeak Server Windows 64 for me. So now what we're going to do is open it. Open TeamSpeak also. Click yes. It will load and stuff. Install it. I forgot that I had to install it. All right. So now that that's done, you're gonna delete the installer part thing. Now that you have it open. Double click on this. Welcome to TeamSpeak. Choose a nickname. Decayed Wisdom. Wisdiame. Voice activation detection. Push to talk. You can like click a thingy buttons and it'll let you talk or something. Um, I don't use that. that. You didn't hear any echo whatsoever. I'm gonna use female because I don't know why I just like female. The guy, the guy sounds has a really deep voice. I'm gonna say that. I don't know what that means, but okay. Nope, no mind. I I figured out what it means. <laughs> All right, close that. All right, so once you open this. This will also pop up, and uh, you're gonna have to make yourself admin. So go to connections, blah blah. blah. Go to local. Oops. I'm pretty sure local host works. Connected. Yep. So now that you have this, copy all this stuff down here and paste it over here and also once you close it you can't open it again so I'd go to like a notepad or something and uh, copy and paste all of it Have it. You can close it now. Okay, that now that you are in admin, you are in admin now. Now, what we need to do is make the server turn on whenever you turn your computer on. So, what we are going to do, we are going to open this folder again, make a shortcut. Uh, where is it? Great shortcut. There we go. So now we have this. Go to your 
roaming folder, go to search percent app data, data, whatever you want to call it. Click on that, open that, go to Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, Startup. Oh, and also add this in there too if you want to. I recommend it, it's easier. Okay, so now we're going to drag this in there, back out of that. Now it will always be on when your computer is on. So what you're going to do now is right here if it shows your IP4 address go to file preferences use to text my IP using remote methods and check that. I'm gonna refresh it and just get out of it so you cannot see it. But first I'm gonna go to my edit host and just show you that it shows uh, uncheck this. Now, if you don't uh, if you don't have it checked, it won't be able to. Uh... Crap! Now you see my IP. Anyway, so if that happens, if it's not checked, it will not work. So your IP, it it says your IP anyway. It doesn't matter. So refresh it, and uh, now you can go to connections, and you can. Go now you can use whatever IP you made earlier and you should be able to disconnect connected yep there we go all good so that's about it guys hope that helped you a lot uh... oh wait 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 I am not done we first need to go to command prompt admin and type in Telnet. If it says Microsoft Telnet, then that means it's activated. And if it's not, then if it doesn't say that, then go to Control Panel. System, I think? No, it's in your firewall. Go to Firewall, Windows Firewall. Click. Allow an app or feature through the wall. Scroll down to the T's see if Telnet is there if it is not if it is check it and then you should be good if it's not go to where do I go one sec control panel programs and features turn windows features on and that's gonna take forever because I don't know why. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Alright, scroll on the telnet. It's client and server, I checked them both. But now that they are checked, you should be able to go back into the firewall. And it should be there when you allow an app or feature through the firewall. So now you're going to check Telnet, click OK. This time I'm going to click Cancel. And that is it! You are done! You have a TeamSpeak server! And all you have to do is give people the IPs. And all it is is the IP that you made earlier. And also you can make a Minecraft server with the IP you made. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped you a lot. Leave a like if it did. Tell your friends and stuff about this if they need to know how to make a TeamSpeak server, even though I don't know why they would. But yes, that is it, everyone. Goodbye! Goodbye! It's a never-ending thingy of whatever that thingy is. Purple!